Well, hello there, City Skylines enthusiasts, and welcome back to Riverton. Let's do some building. So for today's episode, what I thought we could do is, well, first of all, we're going to take care of whatever the base game put here. Uh, so we'll turn this into, I was thinking about a basic trumpet interchange. So that's kind of a cool way to change the starting intersection interchange of your city. Very easy, but it looks much, much better than, well, this. <laughs> Also, last time in the time-lapse episode, we have unlocked the Metro, and I thought we could start to work on our Metro network. So why don't we do that? Okay, first of all, let's pause the game right here. Okay, also I'm hoping that these will be finally empty so we can take care of these. Okay, so we'll take out this. We'll do a basic trumpet interchange. Nothing too swanky, just uh, something, well, different. All right, so let's take out these. All right, so I want the highway ramp for this one. Grab the road guidelines from this existing road. All right, now the elevation step is set to three meters. So every time you hit page up, the road will be raised by three meters. That's three meters, six meters, 12 meters. With 12, you can go over the road easy peasy. So we wanna come here and basically have a measurement of 10 units like this. Then we'll go out by another five units. You can easily measure that as soon as the blue line pops up. That is five units right here. That's 10 and that is five. So we got five. Now the road guidelines from this row will also go out by 10 and 15. All right, so we've gone out by five more meters here, five more units here. So we got a total of 15 units right here. And now we'll go to the curved road tool, anchor ourselves, and now five meters anchor the road and go out by five. Remember to lower the elevation step by one. Five meters, anchor and five, lower the elevation step by one. Go out by five again, anchor and now elevation step all the way to the ground and boom, we are on ground level, straight road. And we should be able to sneak right underneath these two roads here, awesome. Okay, so let's see, how can we smoothly, like that. That is perfect. We need to switch that up though. Oh, it won't let me because of the, uh, there's usually a pillar there. All right, no problem. We can just take that out and draw that, redraw that. We have our curve, that was the main goal. So you can always come in here and redraw that in the direction you actually need it, no problem. All right, so now we can also come in here and just uh, connect this. Okay, we might want to make this a two lane road. We don't want one lane going, we don't need three lanes here anyways. There, that looks a bit better. <laughs> All right, good, 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 good. All right, now for the other side, we need to go out a bit further. Now this could be more loosey-goosey than this one because, I mean, look at that, that looks perfect. That's like a perfect circle here. So what I wanna do now is instead of five, because we go five by five, we'll just hit here. So what I wanna do always is go up by eight. So we'll go to 10, go backwards, nine, eight, anchor. 10, nine, eight. Oh, we need to turn off the road guidelines, that helps. All right, so 10, nine, eight. Remember to drop the elevation by one click of page down. 10, nine, eight, anchor, 10, nine, eight. Elevation step, boom. And now we can come in here with a five, anchor at five, remember the elevation step. And now we can just drag this out as you please. Basically, I like to go out by, what is that? I think seven, yeah, five, six, seven, which makes perfect slope and now straight road and uh, connect to your highway. And we are basically done. We need two more ramps here, but this is the basic trumpet interchange. So let's come in here with another ramp. And these should be just very, very basic. go we will switch that and voila we could well
There we go. Let me get sort of symmetrical. So we got some symmetry going on, right? <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. And just like that, we have... We can upgrade this stretcher road as well. There we go. All right, let's hit play, let it sort itself out, and uh, we should be good to go. We have everything done. Okay, and it's perfect, it's being used, nice. And you can play around with the curves here. You could make these a bit smoother, you could make these ramps a bit longer, you could make these longer, you could make these shorter. That is all up to you, but that is a basic trumpet interchange. Super, super simple, and honestly, I think it looks so much better than what the game dropped for us there so i think that is that is really really good all right so heading over to metro metro my favorite mode of public transportation i just love the fact that you can have it well for one underground it doesn't clog up any of your roads however i do love these i do love these elevated metro stations i think they look so cool or the ground level ones super cool but i usually work with the underground metro station just because it's uh perfect for traffic let's start with our network actually uh i think i want to put one like right in here definitely in the industrial area let's put one right here so the good thing is you can actually put these stops close ish together because metros get up to speed pretty fast they can have more and that way they can have more stops basically so let's put one sure let's put one up here they're very expensive though you got to be aware of your budget ours is fine though all right where can we put another metro we're full with housing here okay let me see we might have to get rid of a house or two because i at least want to put two more stops in here one more maybe over here i won't have to destroy a house for that but i do i really really oh i really really want one in here sort of maybe oh that's perfect actually next to the cemetery you got some form of line sharing here because we're close to the um perfect because we're close to the tram station thanks i was looking for that word um so yeah let's uh, now connect up the tunnels here and these are underground they don't have to look as good as a road for instance so it's fine there we go that's okay that's okay you can oh perfect let's get that line in lickety split that's good we'll give the people a way to get to work a, a quicker way to get to work very nice very nice look at all the happy citizens yay <laughs> i'm excited for that that is super cool all right let's get a walking path here for sure there we go that's connected now so we can so the citizens can easily walk through there perfect oh look people are already using the walking path nice here's williams perfect all right this is pretty cool the best part about this metro thing is though you can easily just like continue your network like you can have another stop up here where like okay if the slope wasn't too steep like here there you go and you can just continue that along uh, I'm especially thinking of this part right here, so we can have that go along and service the new area that I did in the, uh, was it the time lapse? I think it was the time lapse. Speaking of that, let's uh, get some more housing done. I guess for the uh, metro station, I do want some shops, perhaps. And again, you can come in here and you can beautify these areas as much as you want. You don't have to do that. It's just something I really like to do. And by decorate, like I just put down a walking path here, but it's just something I, I like to do, so. All right, let me quickly check what we also unlocked with the last milestone. All right, so there was also some awesome stuff that we unlocked, um, some de some stuff I like to use for decorating, which is really, really cool. And um, so yeah, let's come in here. Let's do some more decorations. Let's see how that goes. So first of all, I love to use these um, fire watch towers, but also the radio masts. I think those look so good. I think those look super, super cool. Just put one right here. And what I like to do with these is basically have a walking path connect 
just so it looks like there's like a small service road for that tower. I think that looks, that's, that, wow, that's amazing. That's really, really cool, I think. Okay, let's decorate this. A little trees and rocks go a long way, plus a fence, you know, <laughs> super, super cool. All right, let's keep going. Definitely need more shops. All right, also, oh, I got a really cool idea for this area here. I think since we are working with such a, a hill here, let me just grab the, there we go. Uh, maybe we could have some, some vine yards going down here or something. Let's, I'll see how, we'll see how that goes. And all, all vanilla, of course, that will be all vanilla style. We also unlocked what I didn't even realize was high density. We got some office buildings, which I think is really cool, just for some variety. Uh, so if we come in here, for instance, let's just get some office buildings in here as well. Just for some variety, it can be... also have some more jobs in this area which I think is pretty cool let's get some shops in between as well that's how you can get even more variety without having to have something like the, the ploppable Rico mod for instance or you could manually plop down buildings you don't need it you can just do this it's not the same of course but uh, still it adds variety to your areas that is pretty cool and as always Walking paths for the win. Let's grab the red one. I think the red one's pretty cool. Why? Just because. It looks nice, I think. Like that. Super, super cool. All right, awesome. That is really good. Okay, that is nice. That is super nice. So let's see, where could we actually, because um, I do want to have some high rise as well. Where could we add some high rise? Maybe along these roads right in here. We could technically just do like a mass zoning here, uh, wall to wall zoning. But I think for the high rise, it's very important to also get that variety and to kind of escape that concrete jungle type deal. You want to be aware and also try and spread out the buildings. Uh, personally, well, you don't have to, but personally, I think it just looks um, so much better when you don't have that, uh, yeah, that, that concrete jungle, like wall-to-wall, -wall, uh, mass zoning everywhere, so. And keep in mind, the biggest building that can spawn technically is a 4x4 four four square, so you can work within that range. It doesn't matter what type you put down, different buildings will will spawn. So we'll just do that. We'll have leave the high rise. We'll, we'll go with some variety and zoning. I think that's pretty cool. All right, we do need some shops. What do we do with this area here? I'm not quite sure. Also, I think for this decorative uh, part here on the avenue, we will definitely continue that up to here, maybe even all along until the roundabout. I think that would be pretty sweet, but I would think I would have to think about a few more connections here for this area. And again, I'm thinking of maybe having like uh, some vine yards here, vanilla, of course, uh, and make this kind of not like a farm area, but this is kind of a rural area here. We could maybe even downgrade these roads to the um, dirt roads here. Only these inner ones here, just to kind of give that rural vibe, this uh, small town uh, kind of vibe here, because why not? Super cool. Variety in buildings. Variety for your city. How is the trumpet work? Oh my god. So simple and works like a charm. Yeah, you can empty out as well. So simple and works like a charm. Now, if you want to know some really amazing facts about city skylines, I highly recommend you check out this video right over here. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. Have a great day. Stay safe out there and bye bye.